Good morning, everyone. It is September 25th, 2022, and it is time for your Oracle Card Reading of the Week. Happy Suna Day! Now, I bet you're wondering to yourself, why did she say Suna Day and not Sunday? And why is she dressed like a Norse priestess? Well, you'd be right to ask yourself those questions because I am dressed like a Norse priestess or a Norse princess. And I did say Suna. Now, Suna is the Norse name for the sun. So if I'm saying Suna Day, I am saying Sunday. And that is what Sunday is named after, is the goddess Suna. So do you guys know anything about the goddess Suna? You're going to know now because I'm about to tell you. So let me give you a little teeny tiny mythology lesson and then we'll get started on our reading for the day. Suna and Manny form a sister and brother pair. When they first emerged as the cosmos was being created, they didn't know what their powers were or what their role was in this new world. But then the gods met together and created the different parts of the day and the year and the phases of the moon so that Suna and Manny would know where they fit into the great scheme of things. They ride through the sky on horse-drawn chariots. Suna's horses are apparently named Avarkar, which means early riser, and Ausfeder, which means swift. And I might be completely butchering those, those names, so uh, forgive me if I have. They ride swiftly because they're pursued through the sky by the wolves Skal, which means mockery, and Haiti, which means hate. And they will overtake them when the cosmos descends back into chaos during Ragnarok. Okay, so now that you've learned a little bit about Suna and Manny, let's go ahead and get started with our three card Oracle reading of the week. Okay, so now it's time for the three card reading of the week. We're gonna be doing a current situation card. We're gonna be doing a hopes and dreams card. And we're going to be doing a roadmap card. And we'll be following that with a rune card. And this is for the week. So for the current situation card, we are going to be using message messages from the Spirit of Nature deck by Dr. Stephen D. Farmer. As you guys know, I love this deck. I use it a lot. So let's get this shuffled. And we'll see what the card current situation card is for today. Let me give this a good shuffle. And as I'm shuffling, I'm going to ask that the archangels, the spirits of this house and of the land, and my ancestors surround us, protect us, give us wisdom, and help us find out what we need to know for the week. Give them a real good shuffle today. All right, so current situation card is hurricane. Well, that's kind of appropriate considering how many hurricanes are in the Atlantic and the Pacific right going on right now. So this is sort of a a physical manifestation, but it's also a spiritual manifestation of how things are going right now. Right now, we have got so much going on with Putin threatening nuclear strikes against the West if they interfere with uh, the Ukraine, with um, all of the turbulence that's happening right now in our cities, with shortages and supply chain issues and um, defunding police departments. So, you know, the rise in crime and just thing after thing after thing after thing is going on right now. We feel like we are in a hurricane, but we, as I've said with this card before, when we've gotten it, there is an eye at the center of the hurricane. There's an eye at the center and that is where we are at right now. We are standing in the center with the, the whole swirling maelstrom of, of craziness going on around us. We are centered. 
we are in the middle and we are observing we are we are taking it in stride because we are light workers and that's what we do we do not panic about things of this world because we know that there is a divine force behind everything that is that it, that is in control and keeping control of everything so let's look what our hopes and dreams are now our hopes and dreams card today is from the sacred destiny deck by denise lynn and again another one of my very favorite decks, a deck that I feel very connected to. So let us see what our hopes and dreams are. Let me give this a shuffle. I had a card jump out. I'm tempted to take that card. You know what? I'm going to. Voyage. The hopes and dreams card is voyage. And on this card we have a whale that is carrying looks like another whale or a smaller whale maybe it's baby underneath it flying through the sky so this is this is speaking to or what i'm getting from spirit is we are looking for we are looking to take a mental vacation a mental vacation from the craziness a mental vacation that will allow us to regroup and recenter ourselves. And because we are in the center of the hurricane, in the eye where it's calm, we have the ability to do this. We have a centeredness about us that is allowing us to see things for what they really are and assess things without panicking. And because of that, we have the ability to take sort of a, a little mental vacation, a little mental voyage that will allow us to assess things with clarity, calmly, patiently, and help us figure out what we need to do next. But how do we get from, you know, being surrounded by the storm to the place where we can actually take a little mental vacation, a little voyage in our, you know, for our spirit's sake, you know, to help us strengthen and, and, and achieve our goals. Let's go ahead and shuffle these cards. This is the Enchanted Map deck by Colette Baron reed The Enchanted Map. So let's give this a few shuffles here and let's see what our roadmap card is going to be. Oh, I got another one jumping out. Again, I'm tempted to take it. I think I will, just because I'll feel weird if I don't. Okay, so wide open. Wide open. That is our roadmap card. Look at her gazing out into the sky. Into the big, wide open. So in order for us to get from that centered place in the middle of a in the uh, in the middle of the storm to being able to take a voyage and go on to a mental vacation we need to be wide open to the possibility of allowing that to happen. Can't shut ourselves down from that idea. Or turn away from it we have to walk right on into it and do it without with faith like the child a child you know I was talking the other day about faith we have to keep faith like a child you know don't don't stand there and go well I can't do this because of and I can't do that because of stop making excuses it's wide open it's wide open So boldly go forward on your voyage so that you can better handle the situations that arise in your life that cause turbulence, misunderstanding, confusion. You're in a place now, guys. You're in a place now where you are at the center of that hurricane. So you can see clearly the things that you hope and dream for. All you have to do is make the bold move. 
Make the bold move and go forward and allow yourself to do that. All right, let's pick a rune card. Let's pick a rune card and see what the runes have to say about this current situation. Let me get these uh, mixed up good. These cards are a little, a little weird, a little slippery. And I want to get these shuffle, shuffle, shuffled here. Let's just do a little of this and a little of that. All right, so our rune of the day is... Zawulo. Zawulo. Oops, am I in the camera here? Zawulo. Success, goals achieved, honor, the life force, health, a time when power will be available to you for positive change in your life. Victory, health, and success. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yes. The time, the time, you have the power right now for victory, health, and success because you are centered. Everything's wide open to you. All you got to do is go on your voyage to get it. Yes. 